In this video, I'm going over the best budget cell phone plans as of January 2018. Yes, I saw your comments. Stetson, what about Project Fi? What about Wing? What about Freedom Pop? Well, you asked, and here they are. These are the best budget cell phone plans as of January 2018. Like in my best cell phone plans video, I will be covering the best budget plans across the four major networks here in the United States, Verizon, AT&T, Sprint, and T-Mobile. For those new to cell phone plans, basically these are the major carriers that build and establish their own networks, and all other carriers will use one or more of these networks to provide coverage. If you're already on one of the four major networks, then your current phone will actually work on any of the carriers also operating on that network. So without further ado, let's jump into the best budget cell phone plans as of January 2018. I'm breaking things up by network this time around. First up, on the Verizon network, the best budget plans come from Red Pocket, Page Plus, and US Mobile. I talked about Red Pocket previously, and they have a great budget plan at just $10 a month with 500 minutes, 500 texts, and 500 megabytes of LTE data. Again, Red Pocket operates on all four major networks, so you can choose to use this plan on either the Verizon, AT&T, Sprint, or T-Mobile networks. Red Pocket's other plans also remain very affordable and competitively priced, so I suggest checking them out. Page Plus offers a similar plan, $10 a month for 500 minutes in texts with 100 megabytes of data this time. I'm not sure what you do with 100 megabytes of data, but this plan is great for some light talking and some light texting. Expo Mobile also offers great pay-as-you-go plans where you pay two cents per minute of talk time and two cents per text message, perfect for the light user. You can see on their website, you refill your account with either 10 to $100, and then the two cent charges are automatically deducted from your account balance. This equates to around $3 to $25 a month, depending on your usage. Again, ideal for super light users. US Mobile also offers great, affordable, and completely customizable plans on the Verizon network. You need to head over to their website to check them out. They just launched their Super LTE SIM, which uses the Verizon network for coverage, and you can choose the exact amount of minutes, texts, and data you want. You can also choose to do just talk or just text or even just a data and use something like Google Voice and Hangouts for essentially unlimited talking text. Additionally, US Mobile offers the most affordable unlimited plans on the Verizon network. Plans start at just $35 a month and offer different data speeds and hotspot features. Now moving on to the AT&T network, the best budget plans here are from Freedom Pop, Red Pocket, H2O Wireless, and Cricket. The cheapest plan of the bunch is Freedom Pop. Despite some shady business practices like automatically signing you up for their paid plan if you don't opt out in time, Freedom Pop does offer the cheapest cell service because it's free. Their new LTE SIM card includes 200 minutes, 500 texts, and 200 megabytes of LTE data. You do have to use the Freedom Pop application for talking text, and while the app has improved, I still recommend using Google Voice and Hangouts paired with the 200 megabytes of data for the optimal setup with this plan. I covered Red Pocket's plans previously. Those stay the same, still great, worth checking out. H2O also offers a reasonably affordable plan at $20 a month. It includes unlimited talking text with one gig of LTE data. I've heard there may be MMS issues if you're using H2O on iPhone, but still $20 a month for one gig of data is a very good deal and something worth considering. And lastly, Cricket. Cricket is honestly my go-to at this point. I've been using them as my personal provider for three years now, and I think they offer one of the best balances between price and coverage. Their budget plan is $30 a month for two gigs of LTE data, a little more on the expensive side of the budget category, but I think still an excellent value. On to the Sprint network. The best plans here are from Freedom Pop, Red Pocket, Twigby, Tello, and Wing. As we've already covered Freedom Pop and Red Pocket, I won't be going into those again. Their plans simply stay the same as before. Great, affordable, worth checking out. The new carriers this time are Twigby, Tello, and Wing. Twigby and Tello have been competing over the summer for the lowest prices on the Sprint network, which is great for consumers. Right now, both offer very affordable, customizable plans. You can choose the amount of minutes and data you want, and both include unlimited texting. The differences between the two are Twigby offers coverage on the Verizon network as a fallback for talk and text if you don't get Sprint coverage in a certain area, and Tello offers very affordable international calling rates 
for making calls from the US to other countries. And finally, Wing. Wing is a brand new cell phone carrier to the game. They offer great budget plans, and what's unique about them is they will actually pay you back for any of your unused data. I suggest looking into them for people with varying data needs on a month to month basis. And lastly, the best plans on the T-Mobile network. These plans are from US Mobile and of course, MintSim. Much like the Verizon network, US Mobile lets you completely customize your minutes, texts, and megabytes of data with their GSM LTE plans on the T-Mobile network. Super affordable and great for light users. And of course, MintSim. If you somehow still have not yet heard of Mint, they offer straight up the cheapest, most affordable cell phone plans in the industry right now. $15 a month for two gigs of LTE data. Their plans are simply unbeatable. How does it work? Well, it's a lot like Costco. Basically, you buy your plan in bulk, either a three, six, or 12 month package. And by offering the plans in bulk, MintSim is able to undercut the competition and give the consumers a great deal. Also make sure to use coupon code STETSDOG at checkout to enjoy free shipping on your purchase. And lastly, bonus plans. These are honorable mentions that didn't really fit into any one category and I felt they should still be talked about. So the four bonus plans I wanna talk about are Ting, TextNow, Republic Wireless, and Project Fi. Ting is commonly perceived as a great budget carrier. Like US Mobile, you can choose your minutes, texts, and megabytes of data. However, I actually don't think their service is worth it unless you want to pay for good customer service. So I tested out Ting. The truth is the experience is great, but I think their plans are a little bit more expensive when compared to the other options. So it's really only worth paying for Ting if you value excellent customer service. Second, TextNow. TextNow is a cool carrier to me because I remember being 12 and using the TextNow application on my iPod Touch to text all of my friends. The app grew into a full-fledged carrier and now they offer service. So their deal is you can continue to use their application for talking text on Wi-Fi or you can actually pay for service on your smartphone. $20 a month gets you one and a half gigs of data on the Sprint network, and it's actually a pretty good deal. Third and fourth, Republic Wireless and Project Fi. I'm grouping these plans together because they essentially offer the same service. They offer a base price for unlimited talking text, $15 and $20 respectively, and then they charge per gigabyte of data. Republic Wireless charges just $5 per gig of data, while Project Fi charges $10 per gig of data. So Republic Wireless is essentially a cheaper Project Fi, and what's unique about these carriers is they actually provide coverage on the Sprint and T-Mobile networks simultaneously. Your phone can actually switch off between the two networks depending on which one offers the stronger signal in your area. Very cool technology, and in the case of Project Fi, it includes the consumer cellular network as well. So there you have it. Those are the best budget cell phone plans as of January 2018. I know it's a lot, but all of the plans can actually be found linked in this video description, so be sure to go check that out. Lots of great information down there. If you found this video helpful, feel free to give it a thumbs up down below, and consider sharing so other people know about the best budget cell phone plans and how they can save a lot of money on their cell service. Consider subscribing for more videos like this one. I'm Stetson, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.